So you speak about some of the, the juicy bits. Mm. Um, are there any particularly favourite parts of either the new or old edition because of the stories they evoke for you? I think, I think for the new writing of it, every chapter starts now, right? Um, and I think what is haunting, so it may not be favorite, but it's favorite in the sense of being haunted. You know how some images just haunt you, right? And whenever you think of something, you viscerally have a feeling and visually in your head you have an image. And for me, it's the um, Tazreen Garment Factory fire in December 2012 in out, just outside of Dhaka, um, Bangladesh. I mean, I see those charred um, sewing machines. And a lot of Bangladeshi women who, garment workers, gave interviews after the Tazreen fire and then after the next even more deadly um, uh, Rana Plaza collapse. There are two different things. One was a fire, the other was a collapse. Um, most garment factories are not in long buildings. They are in multi-story buildings. And so they pancake down on top of each other. Um, and that, I see that and I, I think of the women who were interviewed who, were, who survived and worked in those factories. I think that really is with me. The other is, I do think about Carmen Miranda a lot. Um, and think about um, how she, when I was a kid, I mean, Carmen Miranda was, you know, a really popular Hollywood comedian. Um, and I now think of what I've learned about her. And so she sticks in my head a lot. But stories, I really believe in stories, right? I know we're all taught to be theorists, but no matter what your theory is, you, I, we, we build our theories out of stories and we should be you know, honest about it, right? Um, and so I don't think stories are the opposite of theory. I think authentic, verifiable stories, otherwise known as evidence, um, are the building blocks of larger explanatory explanations, and that's all a theory is. A theory is an explanatory explanation that's broader than a single incident. Right. And so I'm always surprised when somebody calls me a theorist. Because <laughs> right? I, I, if, I'm, if, I, if I'm comfortable with anything, I think it's to be an investigator and an analyst. I'm, I'm most comfort, comfortable with being an analyst if I have to be called something other than a teacher. Teacher's the best, right? Teacher is the best, right? If you can be called a teacher, that's the best. Um, but analyst, I think, is what I like. If some people want to build theories off it, go for it.